Welcome to Gdańsk. Today we're going to be exploring this beautiful and historic city here in Poland and we are joined by the Polish Ponczek. Hello. Karolina. Yes, so we are now on Długa Street. This is the most recognizable street in Gdańsk and we are starting our way from the Golden Gate and we'll be going through the Długi Targ to the Green Gate, which is a part of the Royal Route. So we have made it into the center of Old Town and just behind me you have this beautiful architecture here this is the main town hall you can see it's got a very recognizable clock face over there and then you got the kind of beautiful buildings in the background now this is very important here this is neptune's fountain and the story is is that it was named after the roman god of the sea which is called neptune's that's why it's called neptune's fountain and the reason why it's a symbol for gedanks is that Gdańsk has a massive maritime kind of heritage. So this rather large building behind me is the largest brick church in Europe. It's called Basilica of St. Mary. And the reason why we've come here today is because you can actually go to a viewing platform right at the top to see a beautiful bird's eye view of the city. Dzień dobry. Uh, two tickets. From 11 a.m. Ah, so from 11. We have 10 minutes, so okay. we can just explore maybe the church. All right, let's do that. Okay, Dziękuję. Right. So this is the inside of the church. I think we can film as long as we're respectful and quiet. You can see very high ceilings in here. I love the Gothic style over here, like massive windows and also the rooftop. Mm -hmm. It's very very peaceful and calming coming into the churches here in Poland. Uh, two tickets normal new. Uh, yes please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so this is the entrance to the tower. <laughs> oh wow. Karina. Do you know how many steps there are? It's more than 400. 400 steps? Okay, so we're going to be going around this for... Karina says 400 steps. Ah, 60. Do you think this is the number of steps? Probably. That we've done. Okay. So we've got quite a few more to go. Carolina? Whoa, where are you? I feel ashamed. Why do you feel ashamed? because I'm tired after like 25% of the length. So it's actually a little bit different just oh. in here, yeah. So it's not just a continuous staircase. This is interesting. Yeah, okay, a little bit creepy. And uh, gotta be careful of your head. I think this is what it means. And, oh, there's pigeons in here. Okay, this is, very interesting. Let's see. We're going to be heading around here up to what I think is the top just over there. So we have made it to the final staircase. You can see the light. We're being shown the way. And I'm hoping we have a fantastic view for you guys. Oh wow, it's actually quite a small platform. Wow, this is actually very beautiful. There is a lot of people. So there's a little bit of limited space to look at the view because everyone's obviously wanting to take their videos and pictures. But Karen here is going to be showing you some B-roll yes. of the landscape. So it's very see. beautiful. It's quite also mysterious because there's a mist in the air. And the sun sh shining off the buildings, even on this side you've got the tower main tower hall just over here but it's a bit foggy on that side yeah but the buildings look so cute it's like from the book i like the orange tops yeah. on the roofs so that was a very nice experience for eight dollars for two people to go up to the tower and see the kind of gothic interior and then go up to the top although very crowded because it's a small viewing platform definitely worth doing um, we even got a chance to explore the inside of the church because the viewing point doesn't open up until 11 a.m. and so the inside of the church is it it's like a gothic yeah gothic style it was very spacious there was huge windows and 
I like it. And you have like very high roofs, yes. so it's there's a kind of very a sense of peacefulness and calm. Yeah. And I don't know, it just was very charming to walk in and to see the kind of architecture, the Gothic kind of architecture inside of the church. So right now, as you can see, we're also walking through a very nice road. What street yeah, is this called? It's called Mariatska Street. So Mar it's actually uh, translated into like the Amber Street as well, because in the past it used to be the main marketplace for the people selling Amber. And now you can see there's a lot of different places with uh, amber jewelry and it's so this very... is all amber yes ah, you see that there's like nice little kind of I don't know, street lamp but the inside of there they've put in some of the jewelry yeah. and so all along here you'll see these kind of little cabinets with the with the amber in wow there we go thank you so much all right guys, so we have decided to make a little pit stop to have some coffee and cake and hot chocolate. We've gone for two different types of cake. So what is this one called, Carolina? This is called Napoleonka and it originates from the French cuisine. And it's kind of like a fluffy pastry with the layers of cream or custard, like up to you how you name it. And this one is called Miodovnik. It comes from this the one looks good. word this one. honey, like nude. A honey cake. Yes, honey cake, and it's also layered with some cream, and it's quite sweet, but it's also very traditional. We've also gone for some drinks. Now, Karoni has gone for the classic. I'm going to hide mine first. The flat white. So you want to bring it to the close to the camera, show there's a little heart there. Very beautiful. It's my favorite type of coffee. And we've got a Belgian hot chocolate with, you can see there, is like a burnt marshmallow on that. I love that. The presentation is really, really good. Incredible. So this all came to 81 zloty. So it is a bit pricey, but we are on Mariexa Street, which is like a tourist kind of hub. So expect the prices to be a little bit pricey. But thankfully, Mengtube, a very loyal supporter of the channel, has bought us five drinks, which has helped us to pay for this coffee. <laughs> Something happening in the background. For all this coffee and cake. Um, Mengtube says video number 94 and counting back to where it all began in Singapore after so many videos, still so interesting and fun content as ever. So we did film a previous series of Singapore, which we absolutely love, and now we're doing Poland. Uh, kudos and supporting you too. As always, enjoy the journey together. So, as always, Mengtube, thank you so much for supporting us on the journey. It feels really good for us that you've been watching us since the beginning and even now you keep supporting us so hopefully we're making you know the content that keeps you know, interested and keeps you coming back to the channel all right should we try the drink first i think all right i don't know if i should have the marshmallow maybe i should, right. I, think you should. I think i should yeah okay let's give it a go cheers mm. wow oh my god that's so good mm. it actually melted in my mouth like a creamy marshmallow. How's I, love the, my, yeah. I love my coffee. I, I'm just like, you know, the first sip is always the best. All right, I'm gonna try this Belgian hot chocolate. Flat white is like double shot of espresso, so it's very strong. Oh yeah. So, the reason why I really like this hot chocolate, it's Belgian hot chocolate, so the deep, rich, chocolatey taste. Um, but what, one thing I don't like about some hot chocolates I've had is they often aren't hot. We found a pocket of quietness to try this cake. All right, let's try this one first. So let's give this one a go. I'm very curious what you think of it. Is this the one where you said it's got boudin inside of it? Yeah. It's like a custard? custard? Yeah, Polish custard, it's called boudin. It's a cold, it's like a completely kind of cold cake. Like it's been in the fridge. Mm. You can taste the custard. It's not too. It's not super sweet. Mm. It kind of has this kind of ready, kind of like texture on the top, kind of flaking off. Quite like it. It's quite a simple, delicate cake. Not too sweet. Now the time has come for Yodovnik. Honey so cake. Give it a try. This one was the one I was most excited about. Yeah, I love the layers. Like it's just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know why people love this cake because it has layers of kind of like toffee. It's called kaimak in Polish. And the richness of the layers and the sponge cake is just amazing. Mm. Wow. 
You can really taste a, a very strong flavor of honey in this one. Yeah. And it's kind of like dry sponge, but in, in between you've got this kind of honey cream. Yeah. Mm. I think you mm. like it, right? And actually there's nothing wow. better than sitting in a cozy cafe on a cold day, sipping warm drinks, having cakes. It's just like this my favorite type of the day. This is what we like to do when we come on our travels is find like these kind of pockets of time between filming and just enjoy coffee and cake because the videos do actually take a lot of effort and energy and so we need some time just to kind of relax, take some energy, get some energy back and then start filming again. So we've made our way to the Motawa River and in the distance you can see this kind of rather interesting medieval building and what this is is a port crane called the Jurav. So you can imagine the ships you can see in the distance over here back in the olden times would be coming back and forth along the river and the crane using either human energy or animal energy would be using the cranes to unload load the cargo of the ships coming through the river. You can see people are fishing here on the river and in the distance we have some boats right next to this kind of brick building which looks like a whiskey bar yeah. and uh, so right now we're on the marina here in Gdańsk and it's very nice because we've got kind of nice views in the distance you can see the Jurav over there and this is the marina just over here and you can constantly hear we mentioned it in the video earlier but you can constantly hear a continuous kind of construction noise of drilling hammering all sorts so I said to Carolina yes them guadne <laughs> yes <laughs> and she said okay but first she wants you she wants us to show you a, a bridge so <laughs> this is called the love bridge Carolina yes so why have you brought me so to this basically it's such a typical Polish thing that whenever there's a couple they really want to put a padlock on the bridge because it's for like good luck or for like maintaining the feelings in between them and yeah this is called most chlebowy as well because there's a windmill in the background there's a windmill yes so again you can hear construction even outside of the main area of old town but it's nice because you got the, the the love bridge with the locks you got a nice little river here but i am hungry yes them godne means hu i'm hungry in yes. polish so i guess we gotta go eat we gotta have some polish food so you can take these kind of cars just around the city and go on a tour so if you don't want to walk around like us it's very nice to walk around you can actually just take these cars and they'll take you to all the main sites and uh We're making jokes that on the bridge you can have a nice cigarette break <laughs> but it's a love bridge so i don't know yeah and it's uh, such a polish joke what is what's the what's the polish joke that you can have a nice cigarette on the love bridge why is that a joke i don't know it's like is there a polish inside joke that, yeah, kind of. <laughs> that a british person yeah. won't understand <laughs> Uh two people it's perfect thank you all right so we are inside of Swojski Smak. So you can see it here just over there. Okay. Uh, I guess we can go for this one. Okay. Wh okay. Which one do you think is better? Uh, I would recommend this one also. Okay. okay so right. Big or small size? Uh, small size. Small, okay. So uh, one size made of young Kashubian beef and one lunch of the day. Okay. 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 With compote. With compote. Yes. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we have come to this restaurant because the region yeah, the region here is called Kashube, so even if people here are associating themselves as being Poles, it used to be a minority here of Kashubian people, so we can try out different dishes and actually see the culture from the past. So the food is simply like specific to the region? Yes. Yeah. Food has arrived. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so I have got... This is beef. And this is from the Kashubian region. That's how you say it? Kashubian, Kashubian region. region. Yes. We got some beets. This looks like it's like kind of cooked on the pan. Mm -hmm. it's like this crack. plate is piping hot. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we've got uh, kop, kop, kopitka. Kopitka. So it's like potato, let's say dumplings. 
It's kind of like in between a roast potato and a crust, I would say. Yeah. So this is Carolina's meal? Yes, and this is cutlet drobiowe, so it's kind of like a chicken cutlet. This over here? Yes, and uh, over here you have uh, carrots and peas all like uh, combined together on the frying pan as well with some butter, I think. So Carolina usually gets this for our meals from Bidronka yes, when we are not like eating it. out. <laughs> and uh, very classy mashed potatoes with dill on top it's very easy and it's complementing the dish very well and I, what i really like is that it's a type of like a lunch offer that you get the soup you get compote that yeah. usually jay has so i love my compote so as a and meal deal main dish. you get the main deal you get this and a soup that we already had so i'm going to try the beef urulada first you can see the beef just there but actually on the inside you've got some mushrooms and onions and this is the inside of my cutlet it's very simple mm. Mm. so it's beef meat slightly salty mm. I find it hard to describe the flavors. What would you describe the flavors of Rolada? I would say it's like very strong beef meat and then inside I can see you have, you have mushrooms but when you combine it with the gravy and with kopitka it gives it the full flavor. Mm. You gotta combine everything together. Yeah, mine is way simpler like it's uh, actually like comfort food and with mashed potatoes as well like it's just the best on cold days because also both of our salads so your buraczki and my marchewka it's served warm so the the beef itself um is nice but i feel like when you combine it so we're going to combine it with the kind of roasted beetroot mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. that changed the complete flavor profile of the roulada the beetroot gives it sweetness and so you've got the kind of saltiness of the roulada and you've got, got the sweetness of the beetroot and now i think we need to combine mm -hmm. everything and see what this is like so i've got a bit of kapitka some beetroot and also the roulada yeah. i think it's also all about textures like mm. kapitka are mm. quite gooey then you have meat you have fresh vegetables mm -hmm. Karen is right. Mm -hmm. It's all about textures because the beetroot has a very different kind of texture to it compared to the kapitka. Kapitka is like kind of chewy mm. and the roulade is kind of just like meat. And then you got the beetroot which is kind of like roasted beetroot. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my mom's favorite. <laughs> so it's uh, 76. Uh, is uh, service included? No, it's not. Nope. Uh, can we put 10% for yes, tip? Much. So it's 76 zloty and 10% uh, for the tip. Uh, no, it's okay. Thank you so much. So, always pay in the local currency. We've said this multiple times. Do not pay in your home currency because you're going to be paying more. Yeah. Alright, should we go? What was this again, sorry? It's a Krówka, so it's like Polish fudge. It's very Polish? Yeah, it's very Polish. Like, it's my mum's favourite. <laughs> ah, okay. Shout out to Carolina's mum. Uh, Dzień dobry. Is it okay if I film for you two? No problem. Okay, so we've come for the, is it cherry liquor? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think we'll go for, oh, there's so many types, but maybe it's the classic one. Classic is cherry, uh, yeah? No. She's the boss. She's no. the boss. She's the boss. No, I don't know, Jay. You choose. I think I will go for the classic. Classic one, okay. Yeah. So you've got the beautiful glassware, putting the cherries on. Oh, so you've got some cherries underneath there. Yes. <laughs> These are cherries infusing the alcohol, I would say. So the cherry liqueur, cherry, it's all there. Oh, it's on pipe, it's, it's like on tap, sorry. So we've got the cherry liqueur on tap, and then the serving them in the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like cold. Oh, it's cold, yeah. okay. All right, okay, should we pay, pay? yep. It's very kind of nice vibe in here, mm -hmm. with the lighting. Thursday night. She's the boss. Bye. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, thank you, my friends. Thank you. Bye. So we're gonna head outside. Let's go under the lights over here. We've got some nice lighting, and we can put our nalefka just down here. So you can see, you got some nice kind of fairy lights 
This place is over here called, how do you pronounce this? Pijania Vishniówki. Pijana Vishniówki. Pijania Vishniówki. So the place where you drink Vishniówka. Chari the Kiev. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, Nostrovia. Nostrovia. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I didn't know to look into Carolina's eyes or to look into the lens. <laughs> <laughs> so I was confused, but very nice. Very nice. Quite sweet, but also sour. And definitely there's a strong taste of um, cherry. Very strong taste of cherry. And it's actually, it doesn't taste too sweet, like Carolina said. And I'm pretty sure this is going to go straight to our heads yeah. because don't let this fool you. This actually will get you very, very tipsy. Yeah. And it's very nice to be kind of under these kind of fairy lights and just yeah. getting a little bit tipsy yeah. and uh, just getting our kind of evening started. Oh, Jim uh, Dobry, two tickets. 74. Do you want to pay by card or cash? Uh, card, please. It's ready, you can tap it. Thank uh, you. Alright, so heading on here. There you go, my friend. So, which one are we gonna head on to? <laughs> Slowing down for us, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Alright, guys, we're heading on to this. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, so this is us. So right now we're on the Amber Sky Ferris wheel here in Gdańsk. Now it is a little bit pricey. The cost was around 74 zlotys, which is on the expensive side of things, but we wanted to show you a nighttime bird's eye view of the city. We showed you the daytime view of the city and we thought we should show you the nighttime view. And uh, Caroline is a little bit scared of heights. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is going around quite a few times. We're going around. The fourth time. This is the fourth now. time. So you do get your money's worth, and it yeah. is. It's very nice ambience as well. Nice mm. music, and. And then we're really at the top see. right now, and it's kind of like making movements and some noises. It's stopping. <laughs> uh, but the one thing I would say is because we're kind of got the glass, uh, the view out isn't the most spectacular. So Kelly has had to kind of stick her hand out with the iPhone <laughs> through these kind of little vents here to yeah. get you the view but that's been managed it's nice whether or not we would do it again most likely not i think it's yeah more like a one-off thing it's quite weird because we are still like going we're on trying to get off the, yeah. the bloody thing i think they forgot about us there's so many empty carriages that they probably forgotten about us and we've been going around this is like the sixth or seventh time yeah. and like we'll be honest with you guys the views aren't that spectacular to be honest it's kind of like we're kind of, like Karen was saying actually off camera, we're far away from the city. So yeah. at nighttime, you don't really see much. You can see a lot of lights and actually some of the, you know, like but the, the, the things in the background, but like you're not really in the city center. The church I felt was more enjoyable, the view. Yeah. I think it's probably because it was during the day. Yeah. So just save your money. We, we did it for the nighttime view for you guys. Um, but anyways, hopefully we can get off this darn thing. Yeah. Uh, we want to thank you so much for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe. We've got so much more Poland content coming away from this Polish Ponchek. Yes. And we will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>